I'll do the handshake. Yeah. Uh, okay, you guys. Last year, chess. It was cool. Robot arms. Yep. That was cool. 3D printed dukes. I was worried. You guys set the bar extremely high for this year. It was a challenge. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing this year? Well, so Jasper's Genius Crew has been working really hard to try to bring you something. Um, it's a complete end-to-end -end demo, similar to last year where we had sensors, devices, touch screens, Java ME embedded, Java SE embedded. We've got a cloud, we've got EE, we've got EE7, we've got web sockets, we've got async IO, we've got a connect and a TV. And a web browser. OK, so a big ball of different stuff. We put it all in there. OK, so can I see it, please? Yeah, I don't know. Let's unveil it, guys. Everybody, here we go. OK, it looks like oh. a car. We have a car. We have a car. So, as what we mentioned, we we've got uh, some touch screens, your, your, your dashboard, you've got your uh, console display over here on the side with maps and music and everything. We've got pedals, we've got accelerometers, we've got a fan, we've got lights on the vehicle. We have an IoT gateway that talks to the cloud service. We've got a couple uh, good embedded boards here for driving the displays. Uh, touch pads for interacting with it. If you start. Well, that looks promising. Start motoring along here. There we go. Yeah. Now we're driving. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so tell us what's happening yeah. now as he's accelerating. So, so we have Java, Java sound running. We can um, generate all the sound effects. We, can, um, we have 3D maps. We have 2D maps. We can show our route over here. Of course, all running Java along. effects. Running all Java um, effects on the on the dashboard displays. We, we can also see, you know, on the left we have all the telemetry running through the IoT server and through EE run, running web sockets. Um, so the whole sort of things. We have all of our, our sensors. So our, our brake light comes on when we brake, um, and we can switch into to night mode. So Richard, that's showing us brake, acceleration, and battery usage. That's right, and you can you can see how it's affecting the battery as time goes on here. So um, let's go to another screen. This is like I was talking about before, kind of like some big data analysis, you know, over a broad span of different consumers. In this particular case, we're seeing that this batch of demo batteries is kind of coming along, and it has a failure point that's somewhere around 14,000 miles. Well, we're so, not, hold, hold on. We're not driving 14,000 miles today. Well, we, we haven't quite gone a mile yet, so yeah, we need to go 14,000 miles. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I hope you have plenty of time today. So. We're not driving 14,000 miles today. All right. Well, Jasper, um, let's kick it up to 88 miles per hour. 88 miles an hour? Yeah. Yeah. And here we go. We should. <laughs> it was and the yeah, worst to wait for the reboot. <laughs> and you can see we're booking along here. And uh, we can sort of see what's happening to our battery as time goes on. And you know, if I were a really good vendor, I guess somewhere, somewhere around here, I'm going to warn the consumer that it is time for them to come in and uh, change their battery. Because, oh, and it looks like we've we got a notification. Had a notification here that the, uh, we got some battery battery. maintenance required within the next 400 miles. Oh, shoot. Did your phone? You brought uh, a phone. I'm on sorry. Stage. I got a text. Uh, it says your 2014 Duke DeLorean requires battery maintenance within the next 400 miles. <laughs> uh, local service stations is reserved uh, Tuesday 9 a.m. for me. So, yep. sorry, but uh, we're, we're going to have to go get this fixed. Awesome yeah. job, you guys. Thank you very much for yep. coming out.